This is a clothes hook spy camera. Inside the box you will find the unit that looks like clothes hook. However, keep in mind that this is a spy camera. It is designed to look like a clothes hook. However, we ask you to hang light items since this is a spy camera. On the top you will find right here is a camera. Below it is the IR receiver and the motion detector. And below that is the microphone for the audio recording mode. In the back of the unit, you will find a removable panel that you will be attaching to the wall. We will show you later in this video how to do that. Here you will find a USB input and output for data transfer and charging the unit. We ask you to keep the unit at off position at all times since the battery life uh, it's quite short. It's about two hours on standby and one hour record. Below this panel, you will find a uh, slot, memory slot. And unless you want to expand your memory, you don't need to take out this card. However, it is there. And now that you're familiar with the unit, let's go ahead and take a look at the pictures of the content of the box. This is the box that the unit comes in. Now remember this is a spy gear, not a clothes hook. It's designed to look like a clothes hook. Uh, as you see that it does come with a remote control. Here it is. And there's nothing really in the back of the unit. It will take some patience for you to, uh, to learn how to operate it. We will explain to you in just a minute how to do that. So notice in the back that it's an on and off switch and the USB input. Also would like to bring to your attention that mini SD card is included. Remote control is the only way to control the unit. Let's go over the buttons. The top is the motion sensor recording. On the right you will see the picture button. On the bottom is your audio button. And to the left is your video recording. On the very top that's the power button. How the unit responds to these buttons we will show you right after we install the unit. To hang the wall hook, uh, simply drill a hole and uh, go ahead and screw the back panel into the wall. Turn on the unit and slide the unit onto the back panel through the top. Turn on the unit, you will get a constant red LED. And let's see how the unit responds to the input. The video will simply blink and the red will disappear. Now the photo is the only one where the red blinks and comes back on. A picture or an audio will blink a couple of times and will also go off. And the motion sensor will blink five times and also disappear. Here's the video feed straight from the spy camera. It was really dim in the room and I was worried that we'll not get a clear picture, but we actually did, look at that. To charge the unit, simply use the cord that came in the box, plug it in the back of it, uh, and you will see a blinking red LED indicating that it's charging. Once it's charged, the LED will be constantly on. And don't forget to turn off the wall hook when you're done using it. If you have any concerns, please comment below and give us a five-star review. We will tend to any of your concern on the thread below.